and so on. So today we are going to learn few definitions based on numbers, different types of numbers. Now see the even number. Even number means which are the multiples of two. In sense, in two tables, what all the numbers will be divisible? That we call as even number. See the example here: two, four, eight, seventeen. We have thirty-six. We have twenty-four. These are all numbers which will be divisible by two. Yes, which is a multiple of two. Okay, in two tables. So odd numbers means what? Which is not a multiple. See, like this: one, three, five, seven. 11 13 17 these are all not the multiples of 2 so which are multiples of 2 we call it as even number which are not multiples of 2 we call it as an odd number next is your prime number prime number means which is having only two factors we learned in previous class what are the factors so which is having only two factors what are those factors one and the number is a one and the number is a means now see it's three Now three goes in one table as well as in three tables. In sense, one three is three, and three ones are three. Now see five, five ones are five, one five is five. So it is having only two factors. That is one and the number itself. In sense, the same number five. So if you take, uh, suppose if I take four, four goes in one table, two table, and four table, which is having three factors. So If it is having only two factors, the one and the number itself, then we call it as a prime number. If it is having more than two factors, like one, as it is four and eight, will have more than two factors. So suppose four is having how many factors now? One, two, and four. So it is having more than two factors. Then we call it as a composite factor. Which is having two factors, we call it as prime numbers. Which is having more than two factors, we call it as a composite. Numbers. Now coming to the co-prime. Co-prime means with the natural number. Any two natural number you can take. Suppose three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is having only one as a common factor. Any number you take, you will have one as a common factor, no children. Two take two, three, four, five, six. Any number you take, you will have one as a common factor. That is called as a co-prime. Next is your twin prime. Twin prime number. Twin prime means the a prime number. A prime number means which what? Which is two? Which is having only two factors. See here. These are the one set of numbers like three and five. Okay. Now three and five. This is also a prime number and this is also a prime number. But when I do the subtraction of these numbers, five minus three, I get as two. Five minus three, I get the difference as two. When I get the difference, when I subtract two prime numbers, when I get the difference as two, we call it as a twin prime numbers. Twin itself represents two. So any two prime numbers, if it is having a difference of two, we call it as a twin prime numbers. So based on these definitions, I have done few sums for you. Now see the first one. Name all the prime numbers between one and ten. Means from one to till ten. What are all the prime numbers we have? One, three, five, seven. Okay. Now the second question is from twenty to fifty. So you form what are the prime numbers which are there from the twenty to fifty? Now the second bit. Name two prime numbers with the sum. Means he has given you the number forty two. He gave, but you should take when you add two prime numbers. Now see here, I have done it. Nineteen is a prime number. Twenty-three is a prime number. So if I add these two numbers, I get the answer as forty. Understanding? If I add any two prime numbers, not only this number, any number you can take. If I add any two prime numbers, I should get this answer as forty. So I gave you two questions: one is sixty and one is eighty. Sixty. You should add any two prime numbers. You should get sixty. You should add any two prime numbers. You get as a. So ensure you are completing this exercise. This is your third exercise in this third chapter. Thank you so much.